loud with no brakes. What sleep when I wanna be great? Papa gotta put food on the plate, so I show my class. My class. from the west side of the A, y'all. Humble beginners, I came from. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tapped In Reviews. Today, I got a special guest. Let them know who you is, man. Dre Dice, West Side Son, the livest one, man. Nice to see y'all. I'm glad to be here. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, today, me and Dre Dice going to dive into this Bumboo yes, sir. and this Captain Morgan. Okay. The reason we doing this, man, these ROMs, they real similar mm -hmm. in taste. But, like, you know, different. So, we going to tell the people which one we like more. For sure. So, oh, yeah. Bumboo is a... Uh, can't remember the percent on Bumboo. I think it's like 35% alcohol. This some 40%, so that's the okay. difference. Price-wise, this can range anywhere from between 33 to 39. This around 22 to 26. Okay. So about a $10 price difference between the two. Uh, this from the Caribbeans. I think this may be from the U.S. Virgin Islands, okay. but both of them come from islands. For sure. I'm finna go and start pouring us up. Let's get it. So while I pour us up, you can tell the people who you is, man. The people that don't know who you is. For sure, man. Uh, I make sound. Uh, I rap. Make sound, okay. I make sound, bro. That's what I do. I rap, I sing, I play piano a little bit, play guitar a little bit. I'm getting into production. Uh, I'm getting into engineering, stuff like that, man. Uh, I'm from Indiana, originally Anderson, Indiana, West Side. I always had them with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, shout out to Indianapolis too. Don't get it twisted. You feel me? But uh, came down here for school. I go to Jackson State. The I love. You know what I mean? And uh, been doing my thing on the scene down here ever since. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you came here, man. We we uh we always welcome people with open arms in Mississippi. Very thankful to you be real here. We real hospitable. Facts like that's it. Let's show your boy all kinds of love, man. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even put it into words, man. I'm extremely thankful to be a part of a creative scene like this. Tell the people what you normally drink on, man, since we uh, since I'm pouring up this liquor. I'm an Alkaneers type of dude, man. Uh, okay. I was real heavy on the Jack Daniels, and I discovered what Alkaneers was, and I actually tried them. Like, okay, this is actually smooth type deal, you feel me? Yeah. And, um, if I'm going for something cheap, I'll probably get some Seagram Gin or something. Okay, that Gin. And, uh, gin makes a scene. Shoot, if I'm feeling fancy, like if I'm celebrating, I'll probably get some scotch or something. Okay. Yeah. What kind of scotch? Uh, I like Giants Buchanan. Okay. Yeah, I had, uh, I want to say it was like a 21-year-old one from my okay. last birthday type deal. Okay, that's a, real smooth. That's a old-ass scotch. Yeah, yeah, it was good. <laughs> so I done pulled us up, man. So generally on Tap in Reviews, we pick up the spirit, we smell it, we taste it. Dick it. Oh, uh, I don't know which one we should do first. Which one you think we should do first, Bumble or the, or the Captain Morgan man? He Captain closer to me, so let's do Captain. Let's do Captain Morgan. So Captain Morgan gonna be in the in the back glasses, y'all. So cool. usually we try neat first. So usually we pick it up, we smell it, see what the color looking like. What you smell from, man? Like what you what kind of notes you picking up if you picking up in it? Thing strong, I can tell that much. <laughs> uh, I mean, you smell. Uh, I had a Jamaican rum once that smelled similar to this, so that might be. It smelled kind of. It smelled kind of sweet to me, maybe mm -hmm. like vanilla-ish. Maybe. Yeah, I could smell that, like a kind of like how the vanilla Coke type deal got that faint smell in there mixed yeah. in with the other smell. That's kind of what this remind me of a little bit. So uh, we gonna we finna get ready to tap this in. What you want to tap this in for, man? Um, good health, good wealth, and shoot, blessings. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's blessing my kid. I like that. So what you taste like when you taste it? Like it damn near do kind of taste like a harder Coke. Yeah, if that makes sense. Like if you put just a splash of Coca Cola in them up, you scrape. Yeah, like you straight straight. It's so got sweetness to it. It got a vanilla taste to it. it damn dude, like it's yeah. it's one of my favorites. Both of these like are shit. both of my favorites. I ain't gonna even lie. I like so uh, lot. you know what? I would say we're gonna go to the rocks, but we are gonna try. The bamboo. Cool by me. So Neat. we had a fresh in the fresh in the palate type deal. Yeah. I feel it. So what you smell on this one? Now this is a little bit more of a, a damn near tropical kind of smell. Okay. Like a hint of fruity type deal. Yeah. It smell. It smell. I'm. It don't smell like coconut, but it give like a little hint. Yeah. Hey, you can tell it's like island and and maybe this is. maybe caramel. Maybe you got. I can feel that. I can definitely feel that. It smell it smell a little sweeter than this. It do. I just got it's a specific fruit and I ain't never really smelled the coconut, so that might be the fruit that I'm thinking. Uh, I don't it know. make me think of a fruit. 
Well, I guess I wouldn't be able to think of the coconut if I ain't never smelled it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's it smells good, man. Let's uh, let's tap this. We gonna tap this in to uh, Dre Dice finally coming to tap in. Love, Love man. man. Thankful to be here. Oh, that was a lot smoother. A lot smoother. Definitely a lot smoother. Matter of um, fact, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull just a little bit mm -hmm. on this, and I want you to try that again. Okay. Just a little bit, so. Donald Trump has Yeah, I was still say that one's smoother. Okay, that, this one is smooth. That one's smoother, but I think that one would be better for a mix with like Coke or something. Okay. I would damn near drink that one straight, though. Okay, yeah. I, I liked it. So, this is what we're going to do. So, before we even go to the rocks, we're going to go one to ten. What would you give each one of them before we go to the rocks? I'm giving my man's right here a strong eight. And what you gonna get a one in the front, man? Uh, so he gave Captain Morgan the eight, y'all. Yeah, you're strong, guy, Cap. He did that. He did good. Uh, <laughs> my man's bum boom. I'm give him a good nine, cause I like that a little better. Like I actually would drink that straight type. Gotcha. I enjoy that. I'm gonna say this. Both of them things good, man. I Facts. Can't lie. Facts. I might have to go on the same end of you, cause I like bum boom is like my go to wrong, I like, but. And it, I gave it a perfect seven the first review, so I will still consider this. If I had to go with one to ten, it would be a ten to me, mm -hmm. and this would be a nine point five. I to could me. dig it. I Just on the knee, it. but we gonna we gonna try it on the rocks. Both of them busting, man, definitely. So uh, we gonna we gonna tap this into some good ass room, man. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay. It's a uh, go ahead. Talk to me. I had an OG, uh, my Uncle Steve. It's my auntie husband. Uh, he had told me one day, because it was Thanksgiving, I had some scotch or whatever, and he don't really drink. He's Islamic. So he was like, if you're going to drink, at least you're doing it right. But let me show you something. He said, put some water, like a little dash of water in your scotch, and then bring out all the sweetness and stuff. True. This is very true. The same kind of effect is what I'm kind of tasting here. Like, I taste more of the flavor rather than that harsh, like, liquor taste type deal. Yeah. It's more of the other flavorings, I think, that I'm tasting. Like, more of that vanilla and stuff we were discussing. Yeah. It's more prominent now. So I'm going to ask you this. Hmm. What would you give this, before we taste this, what would you give this on the rocks, on a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm join you. That bumped him up a point five. I I give him a point five. Okay, right? eight point five. Yeah, cause it's like I could drink this on the rocks. Type yeah, deal, you feel what I'm saying? I I could be cool with this type of deal. Man, it's this is good, man. I love both of these. So like, I'm enjoying this. Yeah, to the I, I, I like this. This this is this, this, this definitely. It might be one of your new drinks of choice, man. I'm telling you. I mean, I ain't never want to try some more bamboo. Like when when I leave here, I'm like, yeah, about it. Yeah, actually, I like I like that. So we feel, we, we, we still got to try it on the rock. Yeah, so we still got plenty. So oh, uh, shoot, let's just tap these in, man. Yes, tap sir. in in general. God bless. Huh. Okay, man. I'm gonna let you. My friend, I'm gonna go first this time. Go I'm gonna ahead. say this. I actually like this better on the rocks I than I like this. I agree. But if we talking neat, I would take the bamboo neat over the Captain Morgan. And that is so interesting to me because, like, I didn't expect that effect to be a thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, the like, I think the positive of what it did for this, that was a little stronger in taste as far as the alcohol taste type deal. So okay. they brought out some of the more other stuff. But this was already easily palatable in my opinion so that extra extra little something just made it like you can't even really tell the liquor like talking about you know yeah. what I'm saying so that yeah, yeah. I, I fully agree cause yeah. like you said this was already and it's a, it's a lower percent too Yeah. so adding ice and whatever condensation from the ice mm -hmm. made it almost too smooth Yeah. and like it took away the characteristics that it had Cause you want Me. a little bite. You need yeah. that balance of that bite to that flavor type deal. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would you give that since you had it on the rocks? What would you give? Another sweet. Right I'm gonna take me another sweet too, y'all. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe. Trap in with my boy, man. And if you're looking for all these ice, I got the links in the description below. Links for everything gonna be in the description below, y'all. 
Cause it's not that I dislike it, bro. Like yeah. I don't want to get it twisted. Like it's bad on the ice, nothing like that. Like I do like it. It's just different. Yeah. It went down. Um, I gave that a nine, didn't it? Yep. I'll show that go down to about an eight. Okay. Eight, 7.5 type deal. Not that it's bad, because I still So I'm going to ask back. you this. If, you, if it's on the rocks, which one are you taking first? The cap mortar, for sure. Okay, so. But if it's neat, I'm taking the bamboo off that. So you going to give it eight? Well, I'll try to make, I'll try to get your rating right. Okay. So it got to be lower then. What you mean? It it can't be an eight seven five. You get it's an eight point five. That I think with the ice and stuff like that, it's a diff- It's that much of a difference to me. I know. That's what I'm saying. So like, mm-hmm. wouldn't it? Wouldn't this rating be lower than this rating? Yeah, I said an eight seven point five. Oh, a seven point five. Yeah, I thought you were giving yeah. an eight seven five. I'm tripping. No, 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 no. I'm tripping. Nah, seven point five eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got you. For sure. My fault. I'm, you I'm, good, bro? I'm lost. You so good. I fully agree. Like, I would give this. He's a 9.5 on the rocks. And I would give this. Honestly, it go it go down three. It go down to a seven for me. On the I rocks. can feel that though. Because it's like. It, go it from really did to a take seven. a lot out of it type deal. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like the, I, I really enjoyed the taste when it was neat. But like I can't. It's watered down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and I didn't expect that. This is my first time uh, ever having them really side by side mm-hmm. in a review. And these are two of my go to. Like, if I go to the liquor store, you can't go wrong with getting me one of these. Right. But, like, like you said, with the Coke, a splash of Coke with this, magical. It's going to be crazy. I already know. It's magical. This right here, you really can drink it neat, mm-hmm. or you can, I don't know. It's like. That's like, you, I, on, you on your bullshit when you drink it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this, this homecoming at JSU, you got your little. Canister or whatever, and you don't want nobody to know what you're going, and you got it. That's all you got, type deal. That's the type of stuff you got right there. Yeah, this more so you chilling, you feel what I'm saying you might have a friend or two over, or whatever, mix up a nice little drink, and y'all chilling, and conversing and stuff. You finna be on some ignorant shit with that. I feel like. I feel, I definitely feel it. <laughs> so, since we talking about that, so we like, I like to compare stuff on tap interviews, okay. man. And I, I'm gonna go first with comparison. Mm-hmm. If these two things was on teams, this would be like, hmm. R.I.P. Kobe. If they was on teams, it would be Shaq and Kobe. Okay. Who this, who? That's a good question. Uh, this Kobe, this Shaq. Really? Yeah. And I don't really say this Kobe because, like, when you, like, you put this on ice, it, it bring out the best. I feel so it. So, okay, on ice, okay, that's a good and you put Shaq on ice, it, it go down. That was damn near poetic. <laughs> I like that. I, uh, and I wouldn't <laughs> even try to be like that. That but was it, nice. So, if it's on the same team, it's Shaq and Kobe. But if it's on different teams, I'm going to say uh, it's going to be Kobe and either Kobe and AI or Kobe and McGrady. <laughs> if that was separate. See, if I was going to do the Shaq and Kobe, I would have did it the other way around. But more so because that's a little stronger of a taste. So, like, when I think of Shaq, I'm like, Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think of Kobe, I think of Finesse. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but I do get what you're saying from that logic. If I had to put. I know it's tough, man. I know it's tough. Like, I had to do a different team. Ooh, we. I, I mean, it don't got to be players. sports or whatever, but, like, that's just the first time I thought of it because it's like. This is, if you give me both of these, oh, Shaq and Kobe. But, like, they against each other. I didn't say which one would be who. So, if they was against each other, I don't even know. You can just give either one either. But I like this most of this Kobe that's McGrady. And they hate that when they are battling. If we talking me, you feel what I'm saying, the comparison I would give to these two, this is a fist fight. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You on the street, buddy, and I said something crazy to you, talk about your mama, smack your girl on the butt, something like that. You had to knuckle up. This, like you in a boxing program or karate or something, you still getting hit. Yeah. But you at least got that predictive gear and you got the mat to fall on and stuff like that. It's a little smoother. I, I, I like that, man. Thing. I like that you comparison. Know what I'm yeah. And that's, that's neat. Yeah. You got a comparison on the rocks, do what you do what you rolling with, cuz. I feel like it's similar to on the rocks because it's it's com- similar, but like that really suffered on the rocks to me. Bro. Yeah, the bamboo like it, it suffered. Oh, um, damn! But I ain't gonna lie, these 
this wrong, both of them is good. Like, yeah, very good. I'm, and I don't want to take away with saying it suffered with the ice. Like, I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, but I'm it's. Honest, but it, it did. Yeah. It took away a little bit, but it was already a good drink. So, taking away from something that good, it ain't bad. Yeah. It's still good, but it just is less good. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. But, yeah, so, uh, listen, we've been drinking, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to finish mine up. If you want to pour you a little little shot or something in one of your glasses. Uh, I'm going to do my man's. Yeah, go on, go on, pull up. Because uh, you got to tell the people your two-turn story. I want you to be a little little, little toasted when you tell it. And make sure y'all go subscribe and go check out Dre Dice everywhere. And definitely stay tuned for the interview that's going to be shortly after this review. All right. Two-turn story. Got to take that shot first, though. All right. Uh, I need you loose. I need you loose as a goose. Try to get you started, man. And I want to uh, give a shout out to all the people that's been rocking with Tapped In Reviews. We finally done made it to 900 that's subscribers. We got a video that said 10,000 views with the wine video. So y'all make sure y'all keep on watching and engaging and subscribing. And if y'all want us to try different drinks or different drink combos, leave it in the comments. So, Dre Dice. Yes, sir. Have you ever been too turnt, man? I. Got nah, I can't tell. I might get in trouble. School. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it was this one time, man. This okay. is uh, let's go back to 2017, 2018. I don't even think I was of age at the time. Um, sophomore year of college, okay. I had just came back to the city, I had spent the summer back home in Indianapolis. And I came back down here. I linked up with my partners. Uh, and we went to the party at the baseball house. You remember the baseball house? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we went by the baseball house. And we was uh, out in that backyard. This was like the second baseball house. though. This wasn't the first one where the floor broke in and all that stuff. <laughs> but uh, we back there. It's a party over forever. You feel me? And I think it got shut down because somebody got to fighting or shooting or some stupid shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? And it was this girl that we was all cool with. Like, it was the homies. We had, like, a girl clique that we was kind of cool with. We would party with, talk to, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, one of their birthdays was that night. So she was just like, oh, well, we finna have some drinks at the crib. Y'all come through. Wop, bam. I'm not driving at the time. I don't got a car at the time. You feel me? So I'm with my partners. We go over there. This my... This is my first time really drinking, drinking. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like, you got I, you got to tell people what you're drinking, man. I, I drink. I know some cheap shit, probably. E&J Apple. I had some of that. Okay. I had Parmesan Peach. And I think they had some Henny at the party. And I think she had some other shit. It was clear at her crib. That's what really took me over to mixing that shit. <laughs> um, we get that. And mind you. I had bought this jug. We had stopped by the Dollar Tree first, you feel me? You know them little jugs with sippy cup used yeah. to get from... Uh, I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, one of them big junks, though, about this tall type deal, you feel me? So I put the bottle of Paul in there. Like, I just went ahead and put that shit in there <laughs> type deal, you okay. feel me? Got some juice or whatever. I was sipping on my little concoction for the night. Met up with my first homie. He had the E&J Apple, so I started drinking it with him. We got to the party. They had the Hennessy, so started drinking it with them. We got to the after party at Shorty Crib, and that's when I remember it kind of getting fuzzy, bro. Like, I remember telling my bro, and I'm just like, you drunk too, huh? He was like, yeah. I was like, how we getting home, bro? Because he was the one driver, you feel me? Yeah. And uh, after that, I blacked out. I don't remember shit. But, woke up the next morning, still drunk. Like, when I tell you. Where I did woke, you wake up? I woke up at like 10. Where? Ah, my crib. How know. did you get there? I don't know. Like I said, I blacked out. You feel me? Like, this, this, I was genuinely too damn turned. Like, I yeah. do not remember that, bro. Like, I passed out. I woke up. I tried to stand up to go to the restroom because my stomach was hurting. I thought I was going to throw up or something. You feel me? Yeah. I got up. I was off balance because I was still a little faded tight this. So I called my partner. I'm just like, bro, what happened? He was like, boy, your ass was wild. I'm like, bro, say it ain't so. You feel me? So... They come school me. They like, we finna get some food. You need to put some food in your system. You feel me? Because I'm like little bro with the crew. Yeah. Um, at the time, 
when I came to school, my big cousin was already there. So I really just started hanging with his partners type deal. And I was just like, the little homie, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah. they was just like, yeah, little bro, let me take care of you. Because I know you don't drink like that. Let go and get us something to eat. We're going to talk about it. I threw up, bro, apparently. I, like, I threw up in that girl's oh, crib, nice. bro. I think they said I had grabbed somebody and Shorty was, like, sitting in my lap. And I wouldn't have never did that when I was sober, bro. Um, the real you come out when you drunk, bro. Bro, I was like, <laughs> man, what the <laughs> hell was I on? Like, bro. And then they was telling me it was something funny. For some reason, whenever I get too, too intoxicated, I develop this, like, I guess it's like a, a generic New Orleans accent. I don't really know where it came from, bro. Like, I, my people from Tangible Hole, Louisiana, you feel me? Okay. But they don't talk like that. You feel what I'm saying? They're very well spoken, very proper speaking people. Yeah. So, I don't know what kept come over me. I don't know what it God is or whatever. Damn. But they said I even said that. And from that day forward, I was known to Tangible Hole, Louisiana. Because, like, I kept saying, yeah, my people from Tangible Hole, da 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 da, whenever they was asking why I was talking like that. But, yeah. <laughs> That was my two turn story, man. I grabbing on folks, throwing up, <laughs> acting like I'm from somewhere. You feel me? Saying got random accents and stuff out of nowhere, and woke up the next morning still messed up. I think I was leaning till about one p.m. That's when I started getting back right because we ate and stuff. But yeah, never again. Man, never again. listen, you I, was. I what year was that college? I was like 2017, okay. 2018. Not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, like that's when JSU was still moderately lit. You yeah. I mean? Like my freshman year, 2015. Woo-hoo! Lit, 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 lit. Them boys crazy. <laughs> like, bruh. And you got to keep mine from up north, so I'm coming down here seeing these parties. We don't party like that where I'm from. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we party, but like nine times out of ten, it's going to get shut down type deal within the first couple of hours. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. I ain't really frequent with parties when I was a shorty either. But I came out here, y'all in the backyard with it. Y'all folks got land and stuff, so we out there not <laughs> bothering nobody. You ain't got to worry about the cops yeah, coming. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about none of that. You ain't got to worry about the knuckleheads from the block coming over there and no shit like that. Like, we ducked off in a private location with acres of land. Yeah. Party. <laughs> Burn right. fires, all that. That's how it is down here, bro. man. Crazy, bro. I, I had a better one, but I don't want to incriminate myself. So, yeah. I, I feel you on this. Shit. Yeah. You know, you got an image to uphold. Yeah, so, I'm going li- to tell you what we done, though. All right. <laughs> so, listen, y'all. Final recap. We're going to recap on the, on the cap, okay. and we're going to recap on the bum. On the bum, boo, man. That's so, right, both of these, y'all, if if y'all trying to start out drinking a dark rum, mm. y'all, y'all can't go wrong with both of these. You really can't. Like, these are... This is very reasonable. You can find it for like $25, $26. This is a little more pricier. They got celebrity endorsers behind this. Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. Bamboo. You was, I said Lil Wayne, Bamboo. Lil Wayne, Rick Ross. It's, it's more popular because it's, you know, in the music the scene. And stuff, yeah. But Captain Morgan Private Stock, it is a thousand times better than the regular Captain Morgan. I guarantee yeah, yeah, yeah. you that. And yeah. Captain Morgan out of bad room, but this is this Captain is, Morgan like a brand name, so you kind of expect them to come with some, you know what I'm saying, some decent shit. Yeah, you know what I mean, Bamboo is like we on the come up type shit, but it's still busting. Yeah, you know, that's and, and it's really about. good. Like it's like he said, like he yeah. he gave it like a nine neat. I gave it a ten neat, but I gave it a seven on the rocks. You gave this a. I forgot what I gave. You gave it an 8.5 on the rocks because you I, gave it originally an 8. I done had a few of these in my brother. Hey, that's nice. good, though. <laughs> I don't know. So, listen. Y'all, what, this is what I need y'all to take from this video. Okay. You can't go wrong. You can't. If you drink the neat, this better. If you drink it on the rocks, this that's better. Right. But it ain't that big of a difference. So, like, y'all. Now, excuse me. My question for you is how have you mixed the bamboo before? I typically don't, but uh-huh. you can't really go wrong mixing the dark rum with coke. Yeah, and that's what I be thinking, but I be wondering what else. You know. But what I'm gonna say this, y'all. If y'all uh, follow me on IG or TikTok, I mixed this last night with some Pepsi. Word. And I, I saw that earlier. Actually, you said it would stick with the coke. Definitely stick with the coke. Huh. Like I like Pepsi as a mixer, but with this, it don't go well with Captain Morgan. Really? What about it? You feel? It just don't taste right. I feel it. Like that coke blend perfectly. I dig it. Like it just do, so one of these days we're gonna do a review where we gonna mix both of these with Coke and one of these with uh Pepsi, and we are gonna see which one better. Righteous. But until that come, y'all y'all stay tuned for the interview with Dre Dice. Yes, indeed. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, 
This has been another episode of Tapped In Reviews, y'all, and we out of this thing.